Engineering Failures, with Stephen the Engineer. The time is just after midnight on December 3, 1984, in Bhopal, India. People are tucked up in bed, children are dreaming, and then, catastrophe. An accident at a pesticide plant releases a lethal cloud of gas that sweeps over the city. The people of Bhopal wake up, not to the dawn of a new day, but to the worst industrial disaster in history. We all understand that accidents happen, but the Bhopal gas tragedy wasn't just an accident. It was a perfect storm of ignored safety measures, negligence, and cutting corners, resulting in a disaster of unparalleled proportions. The plant, owned by Union Carbide India Limited, was manufacturing a pesticide called Sevin. However, safety was not a priority. Alarm systems were faulty, maintenance was poor, and safety training? Let's just say it wasn't up to snuff. So what happened on that fateful night? A large amount of water entered a tank containing 42 tons of methyl isocyanate, a highly volatile and deadly chemical. The result? An exothermic reaction that shot the temperature up and caused a massive gas leak. Picture a cloud of poisonous gas, heavy enough to stay close to the ground, slowly sweeping across the city. Thousands died in their sleep. Thousands more woke up choking, their eyes burning. It was nothing short of a nightmare. But the disaster didn't end when the gas cleared. The after-effects of exposure continued to claim lives for years afterwards. Birth defects, cancer, neurological damage. The list goes on. The tragedy was a stark reminder of the potential consequences when corporations neglect safety and ethical considerations. It changed the way industries worldwide thought about safety, leading to more stringent regulations and accountability. Yet, the question remains, could it have been prevented? Absolutely. Had safety measures been prioritized, had maintenance been carried out diligently, had the alarm systems been working, the disaster could have been averted. But it wasn't. Today, the Bhopal gas tragedy serves as a grim reminder of the heavy cost of negligence, the dangers of cost-cutting at the expense of safety, and the critical importance of emergency preparedness. It's proof that when it comes to safety, there are no shortcuts. You can't put a price on human life. So whether you're an engineer, a worker, or just an average Joe, remember, safety isn't a box to be checked, it's a commitment to be lived. Because when engineering fails, it doesn't just break machines.